Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the University of Toronto Scarborough and this, the official opening of the Instructional Centre. My name is Franco Vaccarino and I'm honoured to serve this wonderful campus as principal and as a vice president for the University of Toronto. Now, it may be the last day of August and the closing days of the summer, but here today we mark a bold and very, very important beginning, a new beginning. Today, with this opening, the development of our North Campus is officially recognized, and it's the first of what I believe will be more such celebrations in the not-too-distant future. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to experience the Instructional Centre, uh, well, today is your lucky day. Um, at the end of this official ceremony, you can explore the innovative features of uh, the Centre, and there are many. So if you can, please plan to uh, stay a while. It's an absolutely terrific uh, state-of-the-art uh, uh, building uh, that really speaks uh, to the future of educational learning platforms uh, as we move forward. It's always a privilege and pleasure for me to be here at the Cinderella campus and what an unbelievable time it has been for UTSC. Uh, driving up here, seeing the bulldozers at work, remediating clearing land for the further expansion of the North Campus, this amazing building as you pull into it, uh, Boy, it's just a thrill to see all of this unfolding. And I want to congratulate all the members of the amazing UTSC community. This is a beautiful facility, and Mr. Vaccarino, uh, when you and I met several years ago, I know how proud you are of UTSC. And he's a real advocate for all of us here in the east end of Toronto, Scarborough to promote this particular facility. And I want to congratulate you for the work you've done with all of us. Imagine just two years ago, this location was known as Parking Lot One, a luxurious, state-of-the-art outdoor flat and featured as concrete space for up to 200 cars. And today we have before us a beautiful new 13,900 square meter instructional center that houses computer, math, science, and management departments and anchors the campus's celebrated cooperative educational programs and services. And I'm sure I speak for a lot of students when I say that we're generally um, really, really excited and incredibly enthusiastic about this new building. The new interactive classroom space, additional study areas, and computer labs offer so many more learning opportunities here. Over the past summer semester, um, I've had the opportunity to see firsthand how this space will be utilized. And let me tell you, the students are really utilizing the space. From every nook and cranny, they find a place to set up their laptops, set up their notes, and study. So for sure, thank you everyone for your effort, um, taxpayers, you know, all levels of government for working together and putting this together. This is all about students. This is all about uh, building the future. I often point out that, that when you're in the education business, you talk a lot about what goes on in the classroom but sometimes you have to talk about the classroom itself. That's what this building is all about. It's about providing the type of learning environment that's going to allow uh, young people and not so young people as we see a good cross section of people coming to university and college receive the type of education and training they need. It's going to enhance that learning experience. And you know, at the end of the day, it is about the students with remarkable young people like Shirley, but it's even more than that. It's not just about the students and not just about being 17th best. It's about how these people can make the world a better place. We are providing these young people with the capacity to provide technical and moral leadership in a world, not just a country, a world that needs this kind of leadership. I thank you all very, very much for being here and part of this glorious day.